Howdy folks, Andy Game on Buzzer here, and uh, I'm going to have a look at a few books. Uh, these are from a Kickstarter project that I backed, and it was for this book here, Fantasy Art of Oliver Frey, Extended Edition. And these two books were part of the perks involved. The first book we're going to look at is this little book of Sinclair ZX Spectrum games by Chris Wilkins. Uh, signed by Chris himself and very high quality paper, it is satin sort of a paper. Uh, nice and thick pages, great quality, covers various genres, sports games being one of them. Uh, I'll, well I'll go through the genres. Uh, it covers sport, arcade adventure, arcade adventure, strategy puzzle, fighting, racing, platform games. Now there is a gripe with this little error with the index in this book, but it's nothing to be worried about as such. Basically, whatever it says, whatever page it says it's on in here, subtract two. Uh, so if it says it's on page 22, it's not. It's on page 20. If it says it's on 20, it's on 18. If it says it's on 13, it's on 11. 10, it's on 8. Etc, etc, etc. I think you get the drill. So just to show you, prime example, Euridium, page 46. We'll go to page 46. And it's not Euridium. Euridium will be on 44. And there's Euridium on 44. So, without further ado, get that out of the way. Uh, World Series Baseball. Imagine Software. Old Classic. Well, they're all old classics because it's ancient. Some great pitches of the Spectrum Adventure Games. Avalon. One of my all-time favourites on the ZX Spectrum. Uh, Lords of Midnight. Ten and Og. Uh, sorry, D Dumb Dark's Revenge. The follow up the Lords of Midnight. And both quality games. Uh, for those of you that, that are interested, you can play Lords of Midnight on the PC and on your Android phone. Just do a search for it. It's free. Android. And on the PC. Uh, Beachhead. Awesome. Airwolf. Once again, excellent. All, all excellent games. Penetrator. Bit of a Defender clone. Jetpack. 1942. Paperboy. Plantoids. Planetoids. Pst. And no, I don't mean after a few beers. Green Beret. Star Strike 2. Bang. Snaps. Adventure Games. The Hobbit, or the Boggit, I should say. <laughs> Flight Simulator, Sim City. Oh, there's the kitty, Elite. Amazing, amazing on the Spectrum. Spectrum graphics, yeah. In the 8-bit days, the ZX Spectrum was the daddy of the Spectrum graphics. Good pictures. Mercenary, Stonkers. And there's some Stonkers in here. Come out by Ollie Frey as well, uh, by Oliver Frey in, in here. Frank Bruno's boxing, know what I mean, Harry. Where the tiger? Some of these jokes will be way too uh, going straight over the head of the youngsters. Or art by Oliver Frey. Or art by Oliver Frey. Get back into here. Racing games, Euro Racer, Buggy Boy, platform games, of which there was loads on the spectrum. That's it, Willie. Booty. Roller coaster, Chucky Egg, many of you will remember them. Or art, back to the index. So that's that one. Available on Fusion Retro Books. FusionRetroBooks.com. Get into your retro gaming. Well worth. Now, this was also came with it the story of US Gold, All American Software. Very American British Software House. Chris Wilkins, Roger M. Keane. 
This covers various things of US gold, once again signed again. Uh, from its history to the various games it did. Uh, it goes through a lot of things regarding the history. Beachhead. More art by Oliver Freer. More art by Oliver Freer. It has a lot of uh, writing done by various programmers, etc. See, it covers a lot of various games. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Flashback. Uh, good old Zaxxon, Bill Max, Beachhead, Ethop, Black, Bonan, Buck Rogers, Dam Busters. Memoirs are made of this. So these are various people writing their memoirs of the games they did. people that some will know and some will not. I do believe Archie McLean's in here somewhere. Uh, drop Zone fame that some of you will know him from. But so um, once again uh, another fantastic book. Nice matte finish to the paperwork. Again high quality paper. Leaderboard. Gauntlet, what a game that was. Atari ST was my favourite version. And there we have our art, Oliver Freight. Just all really good stuff if you're into your retro games. Couldn't be without these books. At Fusion Retro Books, once again. And lastly, we come to the kitty. Fantastic. Uh, those of you in the know will know that Oliver Freer did all the artwork for the old Crash magazine and Zap64. Crash being the ZX Spectrum magazine, Zap64 being the Commodore 64 magazine. Well, before I open this book uh, properly, look at that. What a piece of artwork. That is fantastic. So well, let's get on. Get on and in. This covers a lot of things from his background, his history, how he got started, etc. Uh, but for me, Oliver Freer was way ahead of his time with his, with his artwork. Let's see, crash cover, cover a crash. Just all really good artwork for when you consider the times that he was doing his artwork in the these sort of ones were done in the 80s and really high quality high standard uh, back then lots and lots of different that were various covers and comic strips, etc. Most of the art in here is from Crash and Zap. Look at that. Just fantastic stuff. Some of these are great hung on a wall. I will remember that, I'm sure that was there. Uh... Oh, yeah, there is Theta Europe. Europe was there. Basically a strategy game to avoid nuclear war. Uh, nine times out of ten, you never did. Well, I should say 99 times out of 100, you know. Green Beret. All excellent. 
once again, high quality paper. Great finish. More of a satin finish again. Not too glossy. Not covered in not too dull as a matte finish. That's that, that's a fantastic bit of artwork that. I'd like that hung on my wall. All absolutely fantastic stuff. Oh, I have one gripe about this. <coughs> My name doesn't appear in the backers list. Which doesn't take away anything from the book, but it's disappointing when you, you back the product and you don't get the recognition as a backer. Uh, it was something to do with having to get the the book off to print in time but an apology would have been nice Chris but never mind regardless uh, so that's the fantasy art Oliver Freight get it bought at Fusion Retro Books which like I said FusionRetroBooks.com which are here So if you just go on here, you'll see lots of different books for to choose from. As you can see, who I've just mentioned, uh, the story of the Commodore 64 and Pixels, amazing book, highly recommended. Uh, Sinclair, Spectrum books, various ones. There's Terminal Man, which uh, was Robert Freer's uh, comic strip. Come on, Zedek. So, get yourself on there, get some books ordered if you're into your retro stuff. If you're not, have a look anyway, because it's uh, very interesting. All the same. So, there we go. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. And uh, I'm sure. You'll all agree, fantastic books. All the same. So get them bought. Fantasy Art of Oliver Free Extended Edition. US Go book. And the small Sinclair at Expectum Games book. So, thanks for watching, folks. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave any comments underneath. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Daddy, bye.